Hello everybody, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. I always seem to have to do a little bit of camera adjustments. How's everybody doing on this beautifully fine day? I want to talk to you today about what I, I think I call, well I know I call it the drift. The way that most of us end up where we end up in life. When we, we're especially, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to point to one sex over the other, women over men. I certainly don't want that. But I think that this does happen to women more than it happens to men. And I'm not really sure why I have my theories, but I do see it changing. I see the tide changing for sure with the millennial generation um, because of their parents' views on life. But for most of us, you know, if you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, most of us women started with plans, goals, when we were younger. You know, whether we were in first grade, fifth grade, it was I'm going to be, now my generation, it was I'm gonna be a secretary, I'm going to be a, you know, it wasn't a business owner, but now, you know, I'm gonna be a business owner, I'm gonna be a world-class athlete, I'm going to, you know, accomplish great things. But over time, we're discouraged, and you know, we're told, you know, you, you, you don't want to get married and have children. One of the things that absolutely drives me crazy, even today, even now, is when you see um, girlfriends get together and one has a girl boy, one has, one has a girl baby, and the other one has a boy baby, and they're like, oh, look at you, kiss each other, are you guys so cute? How are you gonna grow up and get married? Why would you say that? Why don't you look at each other and say, you know, at the boy baby and the girl baby and say, you guys are adorable, you both are gonna grow up to be world class, whatever. But I see it all the time when they're two, three, four years old. Look at how cute when they hold hands together. Oh, you're so cute. All you're doing is encouraging the stereotype. That's all you're doing. You're perpetuating a stereotype that's been around since the dawn of time. So do you really need to do that? Do you really need to look at the little girl and say, oh, you're so cute, you can marry him, and I bet he grows up to be a doctor. And if you think I'm kidding, I'm not. Go check out Facebook, because I have some of my friends post that very stuff, and it's like, are you kidding me? Why isn't it, if you're lucky, you can marry her, because she's gonna grow up to be a doctor, and she can support you. So, I mean, I digress, but it's these stereotypes that we're raised with, and we're told that, you know, shoot for, you, you wanna go to college, great, go to college women, and, and you know, do this. But at the end, don't you want to get married and have children? At the end, don't you want to have, have a family? Meanwhile, they're telling the guy, don't you want to be a corporate writer or you know, vice president of a company? But women don't hear that. So we start at the gate, at the starting gate, and you picture a marathon filled with our dreams and our hopes and our aspirations of what we want to accomplish. And then life happens, and it happens to everybody. And it doesn't matter if your life's the perfect Pollyanna life or if your life was filled with trauma and, and abuse and and poverty you know it doesn't matter we all start the same but then life gets to you then you get to the next phase and you get married and you have the children now for most women we are working in jobs that, that will make us happy but they weren't really our dream job because we drift we drift because we're, you know, we're taking care of the kids and, and husbands support 50-50, I understand that. So I'm not saying, men, you guys aren't supporting because of course I know you are. But you know, women have a tendency to drift because they're keeping their eye on the children, they're keeping the eye on the house, they're keeping their eye on everything that they have to keep their eye on. So the job steps back. I mean, how many women do you read about that step back? They don't wanna work the hours it takes. They don't wanna do everything it takes because they're, they're focused on their children. Their priorities are their children where it should be because that's the youth of tomorrow. So they place their priorities over there. You know, promotions come and go. They don't apply for it. Somebody comes up to them and says, hey, you should apply for that job over there. It pays more. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. And you're working there. And, you know, maybe you apply for a promotion or two. And somebody comes over to you and says, you really should be over there because that's a better department, a better job. Pretty soon you wake up and you're 40, 45, 50, 55 years old and you look around and you're like, what the heck? How did I get in this job? I didn't want to be a teacher or I didn't want to be a, you know, work for this large corporate chain or I didn't want to, you know, be in marketing. I wanted to be in research or I wanted to be an anthropologist or I wanted to be a veterinarian 
or I wanted to always own my own business. And that's about the time, you know, because your kids, your kids are, you're either getting ready to send them off to high school. I mean, it's off to high school. <laughs> that's so funny. Send them off to college, send them off to, you know, start their lives. They're getting ready to graduate from high school. And women can look around and realize they've drifted. They're not necessarily doing what they wanted to do. They're not necessarily doing what makes their heart sing. Sure, you can have a great job. Sure, you can like your job. But a lot of women find out in a drift, they don't love their job. And they finally get to a point where they sit down and they look around and they take a breath and they exhale and they say, wow, how did I drift over here? You know, if, you've, if you're, I'm from back east, so if you've ever seen a snowstorm and the snow comes in and the, the snow's landing right here, and next thing you know, there's this large drift up against this house. That's kind of how some of us are. We look over at the drift and say, how did I drift over there? I was just over here. And, and again, you, you pick your head up and you look around and this is when you, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it the what if next, the what's next messy moment. The this is about me moment. The possibilities moment. When you really start looking around at your possibilities, you really start looking around at what do you really want to do? You know, your husband, his career is doing whatever. Maybe you're divorced, maybe you're not. That doesn't matter. You're just looking at your own life singularly because your children are doing okay. They're over here. That's when you really have to sit down and think, who are you? And some of you will sit down and think, who am I? And, and say, nah, maybe tomorrow. Or they're not thrilled with what they see because they had this dream over here and over here. Whatever it is. But this is one of your defining moments, and I've talked about defining moments, when you get to that moment in time when you really have to make that next decision, when you really start looking around. And I know people that are in their 40s that are making that decision. They got married young, whatever, you know, and all of a sudden they're looking around saying, what's next? That is the moment that is yours. That is the moment for you to say, this is what I wanna do. That is the moment to put your plans in place. And if you're not sure what to do, if, if you've lost yourself, and my gosh, that happens to so many of us, we even lose what we like to do. We lost who we really are in the drift. Let me know, reach out to me. Send me an instant message. Send me an email. I'd be happy to talk to you. There's no strings attached to this. This is not me saying, you know, wink, wink, when you call me, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, for $10,000. I know what it's like because I've been in that drift. I've been in that, well, how did I get here moment? You know, I'm blessed, I have a great job. I'm so lucky, you know, I drifted up until I found this job, but I was in the drift. And then again, I'm 60 now, so now I'm starting to look around again and saying, is this what, is this what I wanna do moving forward? Is this really who I am? Does this play to my strengths? Because sometimes our jobs don't play to our strengths. You know, they play to, we're good at it, but it's not our strength, it's not, what, we're, what lights us up in the morning. So if you're in the drift, take time and look around. You don't have to make a decision tomorrow. You don't have to wake up, you don't sit here and listen to this video and think, oh, I'm in a drift. How do I solve it? Because it, it, you, it took you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to get here. So it's gonna take you some time to solve it. It's gonna take you some time to look within and find your enchanted leader. It's gonna take you some time to figure out who are you really? And that's gonna probably take a lot of glasses of wine and a lot of chats with girlfriends and boyfriends and friends and coworkers and ask, who do you think I am? Because I'm not sure because I got lost in the drift. And there's nothing wrong with the drift. The drift has, has brought you to where you're at. And everything is perfect time. So you're, everything you did is what you were supposed to do to get you to this moment. There are no bad mistakes, bad decisions. Sure, there can be some bad outcomes, but there's no bad decisions. It's what you're destined to do, and you're destined now to look around and say, what's next? What do I do next that will bring me joy? What will light my soul on fire? And just listen for the answer, because the answer will come to you if you just listen. And again, if you need anything at all, please reach out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. I so appreciate your time. I appreciate you, 
you know, hitting listen to this because I know that time is a commodity. Time is not something we can get back. We can't say, I wish I could get the past 10 years back. We cannot. All we can say is, I got the, I've got tomorrow. Really, the only thing guaranteed to you right now is this moment in time. So take, so look around, decide who you really want, or decide who you really want, decide what you really want. Become the person you were meant to be, and you know who that person is. So start focusing your way to that, and get out of the drift, and step into who you're really meant to be. And as I like to say, sharing is caring. Please feel free to share this with all your friends, especially all your girlfriends that are in the drift. Believe me, I have my share of friends that are in the drift. My, I spend a lot of time on email over the, on the evenings and weekends and on my phone talking to my girlfriends that are in the drift. So I've been there. I know the way out. Let me know if I can help you. Have a great day. Again, I'm Karen Barno. If you have any questions, go to karenbarno.com and share this with everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.